today I'm going to show you how to test one capacitors. But before we start the process of testing the capacitor to see if it's good or it's bad, there's one indication that'll tell you right offhand that it is bad. As you can see in the picture, if you remove the capacitor or look at the capacitor and you see the bulge, that's a clear indication that the capacitor is no good. And what happens is inside the capacitor, it will overheat. And as the capacitor overheats, it'll expand or bulge on the top. And there are wires that connect to the uh, plates inside the capacitor and they will break as the capacitor bulges. So if you see a capacitor that has a clear bulge on the top, the capacitor is definitely no good. There's no need to test a capacitor at this point, and you'll need to replace it. Let's uh, test the capacitor now. Uh, and this capacitor that I have, and you'll clearly see on the, on the label, is a 5 MFD at 370 volts or VAC. Uh, this is a, a run capacitor that you can use on compressors or uh, fan motors. And what you'll do is you'll take your multimeter, and on most multimeters, they'll have some sort of a weight or a function to test capacitors. In this instance, it says MFD on there, which will give you an indication that it uh, is used for testing capacitors. Take your leads, and you can put it on either one. Think of it the red on the left, red on the right. It really doesn't matter. And you'll see you'll have five, and that's uh, the five MFD on the uh, capacitor rating. Uh, keep in mind, you're allowed a tolerance of 5% plus or minus. You may also want to check to see if the body of the capacitor is shorted. You take one lead to any of the terminals and go to the body of the capacitor and see if the capacitor is shorted. All right, then there's another type of run capacitor, which is a dual capacitor. And on the dual capacitor, they'll usually have it marked fan, common, or and herm. Herm means hermetic or the compressor. Also keep in mind that if this capacitor fails, you could have one part of the capacitor fail. You say you could have the fan section of the capacitor or part of the capacitor will fail. And the herm or the compressor side, that'll be okay. Um, but if you have either that fail, you'll need to change the whole capacitor. On this dual capacitor, is two readings, 30 by five. And again, at 370, and we have a tolerance of 5%. And on this capacitor, between the common and the herm, or compressor, that'll be 30 microfarads. The higher reading will be normally uh, for the compressor side, and the lower side, will, or the lower MFD, will be for the fan. And again, it's the same principle. You're going to go from the common. In this instance, you can use a red or black. It doesn't matter. Uh, your, the C, that will be the common reading. You're going to go over to the fan, and you're going to get your reading. And I don't know if you can see it on my meter here, and it's 5. All right? And I'm within the 5% tolerance, up or down. So this capacitor on this end is good, the fan side. And then what you'll do is, if you want to test... The herm side or compressor side, just keep it on the common and come over to the herm or compressor side and touch those two together. And as I indicated before, this is a 30. If you can see on my meter, it says 30.9, uh, 30.9493, which is an indication it falls within that 5% uh, tolerance range. So this capacitor is good. Again, if you'd want to test it with red or black as long as you're on the common to the herm and then come over and you want to test that again if if any of these sides are 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 no good then you'll need to replace the capacitor and uh, that's it that's how you would uh, test a run capacitor and uh, all the capacitors are available from hvacrsupplynow.com thank you